Uh, good evening, class. Thank you for joining our class today as we'll be discussing about the purpose of creation. We'll be using the lenses of Jonah, the lenses of Jonah the prophet, the recalcitrant prophet, uh, who, had, who was very uncooperative to, to, towards God and to the word of God. When he was sent by God to go to Ninive, he chose to go to Tashish. So we are going to be looking at the purpose of creation, uh, but we are, using, we are going to be using Jonah, you know, the chapter of Jonah in the Bible. Uh, this is going to be inclusive of the soul and the body. So in this story, Jonah, Jonah in Hebrew means a dove, Jiva, and uh, those was called Jonah, the son of Amtai. Amtai means truth. Jonah. Ben Amtai, the dove, the son of Amtai, the son of truth. So when the Bible says Yonah, the son of truth, <coughs> means Yonah, the son of God. So, so that's our topic today. I'm very happy that you know, some of these topics are very, very important as they explain some mystical knowledge, uh, which was not privy to us without the, the Torah. So, but before before that, I just need to, I came across this prayer from the, from the, from the Hazal, uh, our sages from blessed memory. So I, I'm just going to start with that. I read it and I, so it'd be very important. So they say, beloved father and the Abishta in Yeben, you are the doer of good kind deeds. Master of all, Ribono Sheol Olam, the Baal Shem Tov, Melech Olam, King of the Universe, Ains of Infinite Light, Ayom Harat Olam, you are pregnant with eternity, and you are Shem Hamforesh, the explicit name. You were there before us, you created us. You know us. You know what's best for us. So today is a great day. And today is one of the best days in our lives. We are ridiculously and maximally happy and grateful to you, our Lord. Defend us from the marauding satans and demons of this world. <laughs> Set a garrison of army over our hearts. We desire the felicity of paradise. In Old Milvado, there's nothing but Hashem. There's nothing but God. Uh, if, we are not, if we are not ourselves, or if we are not for ourselves, who will be for us? Clever people have made us guardian of their own vineyard. But our own vineyard we have not guarded or attended it. Oh Lord, uh, you who at the time of creation said Amen, Amen, Amen towards infinity. When, they was, when the heavens and the earth were stretching out further and further towards infinity, may you set a limit to the sufferings of the world. May you turn your countenance towards people and towards your people and establish peace unto them. Hashem, keep us away from evil people. Or Adam Ra, people who have lost their Selim Elohim, their image of God. And that they have adopted the image of the Satan, and they have no mercy on the poor, but to tear their flesh mercilessly. Grant us today and every day kindness, mercy, and let us find favor in your eyes. Because Noah, Noah, Manu Mashalata, Manu Mashalata, Noah, didn't find any favor in your eyes. Not because he was holy, no, he was saved. Because he found favor in your eyes. Proverbs 10, verse 12. <laughs> Help us and our leaders to have covered the Habrios. Covered the Habrios, respect for humanity. May you protect us from uh, uh, evil mishaps and unseen mishaps. Our sages, the Mazal, teach that a person does not hate his finger in this lower world unless it has been preordained in the heavenly base dean, in the heavenly court, that this should happen. Protect us from destructive antagonists 
and the poor old governance. You are one who existed before the world was created. You are the same one who has existed since creation of the world. You are the one in this world and you are the one in the world to come. You will bono show alone. Ribono show olam. Mass of the universe. You are Risho. You are Aha. You are first and you are last. You are the same before. You are the same during and after creation. Nothing about you has changed. You will eat. When an ordinary Jew drops his tzitzit, he picks it up. We are one ineffable being who created us. Please, God, may you pick it. Pick it. May, you pick, may you pick me, may you pick up your people. Romans, uh, Romans, so Romans 10 verse 14 says, For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am fleshy. I'm sold into bondage to sin. So the trouble is not with the law, but the trouble is with the body. The trouble is with me. For I'm all too human, a slave to sin. <sighs> Thank you so much. So, so yes, I just wanted you to read that, you know, from the from the from the Hazal. You know? So I also want to reiterate to you that uh, the Talmud. Uh, this is a, a verse that was taken from uh, the Kiyo Hagadol, the first Tana, the first scholar, the first century. The first group of people to be called the elders and rabbis were Hilio and, uh, and Shammai. So they said, uh, a teacher who withholds his teaching is worth or is deserving death. So if you have one way that you think can change a person, just teach. Do you need any qualification to teach about God? No. Because the Torah says, if the Bible not been brought or had God not given us the Bible, where were we going to learn about God? From animals. From kitty. Can a kitty get a shina? Three books in a Bible, tidy. Tides are from kitty chain. You can learn from a cat. You can, you can, you can learn from a cat, from a tree, from a life. What can you learn from a cat? Can a kitty eat it as she now? See, no chair go by your foot as she now. That's a lesson. So, you can learn from dogs. Where are you? You know, poor them as well. So, I'm, I'm just mentioning this for you know our folks who think that well, maybe with the word of God they cannot tell your friend. You can tell your friend. You can teach. You are loved by God. You can learn from a tree. So the Chazal says you can teach. So that's our lecture today about Jonah. Jonah. And the book of Jonah appears is one of the 12 small books of the scripture known as Dre Asa. The 12 books. The minor books of the Bible. So the book of Jonah is followed by Mika. You know, if those who want to, to you know, just say, uh, research for only on this Mika, which in turn is followed by Nahumi. The book of Nahumi or Naomi in Shona speaks almost entirely for the sinful city of Nineveh. So, Jonah, uh, then Mika, then Nahumi. So, Nahumi speaks about the sinful city of Nineveh. <laughs> and uh, Jonah is said to have attained. 120 years, over 120 years. This you can find the story according to the Sida Olam Rabba, a book of generations it's called Sida, or Sida Olam Rabba. You can get this information from Sefa uh, Hushasin. You can get that information from Excellences Rabba 8 verse 10. It was that the son of Yona, uh, the, the, uh, the son of Amtai, Akangare Manawa, you know, that the widow, it's it's a repta, widow, it's a refati. Saka, that's the story about him. That's the big background about Jonah, the, the guy we have with the prophecy that we'll be talking about. Now, I just want to introduce something. Because this lecture is going to, to, to kind, kind of different. Was we are going to we are going to use another methodology, you know, in research, we have what we call methodologies to approach a, a topic. 
so some some methodology can be qualitative some quantitative some humanistic there are so many ways you know a person can approach a topic those approaches they are called methodologies so uh, in today's lecture to just a you know a different approach to that you no know, uh, according to the medieval rabbinical dicta uh, the torah may be interpreted in four different methods uh, called the pedis in shona paradise or peds peds we are not the only paradise here but since we'll be using the the we are trying we're going to try to lose the last one called the sword are we we not perfect we just trying. At this is easy. We are trying. So, so the pedis. That's the methodology that I'm going to use today. But the me, me, pedis is, is an acronym. Just an acronym uh, for P. I can make a patient. That's the simple, ordinary, plain, literal meaning of the words. Uh, just to say, uh, you know, it's just that the, the simple meaning of the way. When people say, um, you know, Jesus, you know, walked on water, people just say, yeah, it's like, like the verse is saying. So that's the literal, sufficient meaning. But, 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 that can change a human being. So that's P. And another level, Papets, is R. Remes. This is an allusion uh, which hints to a deeper, it just points to a deeper meaning. When some people get, get, give, some, give some examples or some parables, that's, that's Remes. Then the third one is Derash. This is a homiletic, like a sermon or preachment. When someone is using the biblical text, and the last one is sword, a secret, hidden, mystical meaning. The sword, the sword, S O D. Papa, on the on the, I, I've said a pied is paradise pads. It's just an acronym. So say sword is the secret, hidden, mystical meaning or hidden wisdom. So that's what we're going to use. This is from a, a rabbinic dictum from the Bible. So the story is the story of Yona, son of Amtai. Jona. Maragumano Amtai. So Yona. Yona the dove. So the verse is Yona. Jonah rose up to flee unto Tashish from the presence of God. And he went down to Joppa or Jaffa. And there he found a ship to Tashish. So he paid the fare. So Yona, we see in this verse that Yona, using the sword, the deep mystical interpretation, you, you know the sword of Jonah the, in the Bible, but we are going to use a deeper mystical meaning. This is the book I'm talking about. Maybe people think the, the book of Jonah, the book of Yona, the son of Amtai. I'm showing you this book. I'm getting this information from this book. It's not my information. I have no information. I've just read it. Now I just want to share. I'm reading this book. So, the Yona here, so the book, when, when, when the Bible mentions about Yona, Bible example, but Yona is the soul from the soul that came from God. So Yona, Jonah is Yona is the dove, the soul that came from God. So this soul came from God. And, 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 and here on earth, the ship, the, the Bible song about Jonah running from the, the, the Shekinah, the presence of God from Jerusalem, into the ship. So the ship is the body. So Jonah is the soul 
from heaven. And the sheep is this body. Saka John Agabudenga, the son of Amtai. Amtai no truth. Jonah, the son of Amtai. So the saw, the son of the truth. So mana we truth and the truth is God. So the soul came from God. So Jonah. So we are not talking about Jonah, we're talking about the soul, my soul and my body. So Tashish means the desire to attain wealth. The desire. So the soul, when the soul came from God, the purpose of creation, the person was created by God to worship God. The person was created by God to be sent by God to Nineveh. To preach to the people of Nineveh. But the soul, when the soul came into the ship, into the body, the soul and the body decided to run away from God and go to Tashish. And Tashish means the desire to have wealth. We have such people who come from God to do God's work. And when they arrive here on earth and they, when they board, when they board this ship, we can touch this ship, the body, they, they will take another direction. But they were sent to go to Nini. But now they are going to Tashish. So Tashish is the desire to attain wealth. So he found the ship and goes to Tashish. A, wrong, a, tip, a totally wrong direction. Meaning the soul and the body, the soul is now using the body to traverse the world. The soul. Because the soul cannot traverse the world alone. When the soul moves alone without the body, it's called a ghost. So it, it must enter into a body. And you, so the body is the ship. But look at what's happening here. The, now the, the soul is, is now going to Tashish. The soul was sent to go to Nini. So, so the sea, so the soul is the, the, Jonah is the soul. The ship is the body. And the sea is the universe where we are now. So the soul needs this body to move from Harare to to, 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 Shitubiza, from Shitubiza, to Botswana, to South Africa, to America, to London. You, you need, so the body is the ship. Do, do, the do, body, do, chikepe, chikepe, you know, shandi si wane soul to traverse the whole universe. And, and, the, and the fish well represents the death angel. The fish here comes a journey. I'm really a death angel. Uh, death angel was the Bible says Jonah spends three days in the in the belly of the fish. And the hardships of this world symbolize the waves. When he was going to, to, to Nini. God sent the gust winds. So the gust winds, it's just maybe it's just like I Maybe that's some because Jonah is taking a wrong direction. <laughs> Jonah is going to the wrong direction. He took a giant step to the wrong direction. He was sent, he was supposed to go to, to, to Nini. He's not going to touch the desire to want to be rich. But running away from the cause. Running away from the cause of causes. <laughs> from God, from Shem Amforesh. And, and closely, just next to that, you, you hear the Bible mention about the woman of valor, Proverbs 31, 31 verse 10. A, a shade higher, the a woman of valor. So when the Bible speaks about a woman of valor, she is referring to a soul that had utilized the body, it's a tremendous potentiality for the fulfillment of God's will. When the soul is, is utilized, the, the body's potentiality, the body is like to the benefit of the soul to, to attain, to achieve God's uh, you know, this, uh, purpose of creation. That soul is God, the, 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 the woman of valor. Uh, I've, 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 prior, to, uh, prior to the introduction of this topic, I mentioned that Romans 7 verse 14 says, because the law was meant for the spirit. The, the, the Bible was written for the soul, not for the body. Remember, the body is just a garment, just an embodiment. It's an encasement. The body is an, is an embodiment, it's an encasement of the soul. Body, you don't go, you go, you go So, so the, 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 the Bible, the law, is written to address the what? To address the, no, the soul. So, but when the soul allows the body to pursue its natural predisposition, that's a problem. When the soul allows the body to pursue its, its uh, natural predisposition for physical pleasures, then the body is portrayed as an evil woman by the soul. This is coming from the soul. So... 
But it says in the Zohar, that's the, the commentary from the Zohar, commenting on uh, Proverbs 5, verse 3. Though the lips of a, a forbidden woman drip honey, and his speech is smoother than oil. It's not talking about a physical woman. It's talking about, about evil inclination. The evil inclination in us. The woman you knows in a, in a, it's forbidden in the, 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 the lips of the Bahani and the speech and the speech is smooth, it's the, it's smoother than oil. It's talking about the if English. But what the next verse says, but the end is bitter or is as bitter as wormwood and as sharp as a double edged sword. Uh, when the when the Bible mentions about double edged sword, it's not that it's word yet. No, it's talking about uh, poverty in this world, afflictions in this world, and hell in the world to come. Matambziko, I'm not saying I'm going to tell you what I'm Matambziko, I don't wonder if I'm That's one edge of the sword. That's the other side of the sword, and I'm in hell. In the world to come. That's why Proverbs 30 verse 15 uh, says the leech the leech has two daughters give and give the leech has two daughters chikwe waropa chikwe waropa chino wakunda vaviri mwanu zindipe mwanu zindipe what is chikwe waropa? a leech chikwe waropa is the evil inclination chino wakunda vaviri mwanu zindipe ndipe meaning to say in this world you are going to suffer and in the world to come, you're going to suffer because of evil inclination. So, this other day, this uh, Alexander approached the sages, or, or the men of Negev. And uh, Alexander had a philosophical question. He said, he asked the question of these sages of Negev, the rabbis. He said, where is it better, or where is it best to live? On the sea or on the dry land? The wise man answered, On the land. For all those who embark on the sea voyage are not happy every day until they reach the dry land. So it's not it's not it's not it's not, it's not good to, 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 to live in the sea. It's good, it's best to live on the land. What does it mean? Because in the sea, because there are waves. Every day there are waves. You are, you are not sure where they are. You live another day. Anytime you can die because of the waves. So the sages of Negev said it to Alexander the Great. It's better for someone to live on the land. Because on the land there are no sea waves. Even if there are gusty winds, even a strong wind comes, there are trees there to shield, to protect the people. But there are no trees in the sea to protect or to shield and try to reduce the speed of the wind. So it's impossible. That was the message from the sages of Nekev. That Kugaram led. This, this means, this is the mystical meaning. Do you know what I If we take the sea as the universe and the land as heaven, Kugarapa universe, Panikapana, because anytime because of temptation. You any time because of the, you can die any time because of the waves, because of temptation, because of gust winds, because of strong winds in the sea. But to live on the land, on the land. Why? Because there are trees to shed the wind. What are trees? Because miti are the elders, miti are the teachers, miti are the pastors, miti are the sages, miti are the rabbis. That the rabbis who who teach the community, so the, 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 these great teachers they shield people from evil spirits, from gossiping, from ayakaipa, by teaching them the ways of God. So let's continue uh, with our with our chapter. So verse verse one chapter one verse seven says the sailors the sailors uh, said to 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 Jonah. And to themselves, let's draw lots and find out who is to blame for getting us into this danger. Because when Jonah was when Jonah was going to Tashish, God sent a strong wind, and the and the sailors. When the Bible is talking about the sailors, the deeper meaning is that the faculties, 
Those are the members spoken. Uh, the, those are the members being spoken for on this verse. The, the, the verse is the sailors, let's draw a, a cast a, and lots and find out who is to blame for getting us into this danger. They did so, and Jonah's name was drawn. So they say to him, Now then, tell us who is to blame for this. What are you here for? What a country do you come from? What is your nationality? And Jonah said, I'm a Hebrew, and my name is Jonah. I worship the Lord. What is your. The, so when the Bible is talking about the sailors, it's talking about the faculties of the, 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 the human body, the, fac the, the brain, the heart, and various forces of the body, the faculties. So that's the, the sword meaning, the mystical meaning. Yes, the sailors. Mind the But when Yona was now hit by this wind, the gas went up. So, Yona, Yona, I'm Hebrew. Hebrew means I come from a far field. I come from beyond the river of fire. And they said, What is your trade? Because of you, what is your trade? So, yeah, my trade is to worship the Lord of Israel and to fear God and to read the Torah of truth and to lecture and to teach people. And they said, but, but, but Tashish is not the destination for that. The destination for that is Nineveh. But you're going to Tashish. You're going to Tashish. You are saying you are Yona. You are saying you are Yona. You are Hebrew. From, from beyond the river of fire. To, to, to teach the world. But you cannot teach people in Tashish. Most people in Tashish are busy. They are wealthy. What kinds of women are going to do? Those are the ones that are going to do. Those are the ones because of you. So, both you are going in the wrong direction. So, Jonah answered, throw me into the sea and it will come down. I know it is my fault that you are caught in this violent storm. Because the violent storm, the violent storm came because Jonah was going in the wrong direction. You need to come up in, in, in life. Jonah, wake up! God asked you in heaven and you agreed with the Hadosh Baruch Hu. You agreed with the you, you, you agreed with the Bishta. Because you found the boat going to shut Tashish. So violent, the violent storm came. Uh, so they cried out to the Lord, O oh Lord, pray, we pray, don't punish us with the death for taking this man's life. Uh, so they then they picked Jonah up and threw him into the sea. So what are we saying? We are saying, uh, when the angel of death is about to take someone's life, the individual Corporeal faculties scream out for help to things he most treasured. Can death angel we are both maple we are we are those are the demons that are sent by God because you have taken a wrong direction. No prophet, no pastor, no priest are not the thing I'm not wrong direction. It's not both maple to manage over. So, so. So the, 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 when the Bible is speaking about uh, uh, the sailors, so the faculties will scream out to their lords. Who is the Lord in this, in this interpretation? So when death angels are about to take someone's life, the individual's corporal faculties scream out for help to the things most treasured when someone was on earth. So, I'm not going to sit on our way. I'm not going to go to the wrong direction. Because I'm not going to go to the wrong direction. It was God's divine divine appointment, divine duty. As a church, so you must go back to heaven. As a rabbi, so we have no more. That's why I'm trying to fish here. I got to swear by the end. The fish came, and John was swallowed by that big fish. And, uh, and the, the verse says, On that faithful day, the day of death. The sailors will throw away the goods. 
throw away the merchandise into the sea. Kurati kama na kuru hara manji, when you are feeling sick, when you are about to die, when you are sick now because you took a wrong direction, you were not sent there by God to go to touch you, you were sent to nini. Saka, because now you fell. Saka kuru hara pashika, the satan has shika with all those demons to attack you. Now when you are feeling sick now, what happens first is, that's why they that's why they say the body the ship ship so what happens is uh, because they are now heavy they make under the embe mushangu they are not fake 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 the ship the body are not fake they are not fake so they said you can't do it. So you you if you read the Tikune uh, Zoa, it says, "Come and see." Uh, usually, people move their eyes while they talk. Others gesticulate with their hands. Others move their heads. Others sway their bodies. I don't know if their bodies so when they talk. So in accordance with evil deeds of the person. In depending as usual, I want, to, want people to listen to this. In accordance with the evil deeds of the person, the soul will descend into exile. The soul will go into exile. moon causes the soil to descend into exile. And then this mystical meaning, the story of Yona using the soul methodology of interpreting the Bible. The exile is the feet. In the past, yeah, they do exile. So, you know, Bakunokum saw when the path fit Makumbo. That's why Isaiah 50, verse 1 says, Your mother, meaning your soul, was sent away as a consequence of your transgression. My lako waka zing kumusha, no kudaku juja kuiwe. That's why when someone dies, but Karanga Shere Kunot, ah, Makumbaka to Nora. So when we continue to to, 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 to to do sins, when we continue to commit crimes and sins, our soul will move from here to the feet. Makumbo. That's why, that's why, uh, that's why the verse says, the soul, Jonah, no longer pass the body. It means uh, on the, the ship holds, pass Jonah. The reason was the soul, Got to that example, the soul, yeah, but I'm sorry, and I pass. So the location of the soul is responsible for the things whichever limb the sham is located. So from this Zoharic, Zoharic interpretation of the location in the position of the soul after someone has committed some sins, come like a committee as usual, wonder, so you know, by the end of position of the body, you discover it, so the, the Zoa, Tikune Zoa says. Kana 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 so ikatiza nolo kujui kena kama kumbu muni yeye ita cha cha agari pasi ano fam boso yewe andra kumbu ano fam uba kuchina chuno apu ya rizine uba kuchina chuno no ino andra pasi ya kumatoka no kwa andra soul because of the sins imo so ino andra kuno de sel mochi tano mokeyo andra kumo oko uba kuchina msoro kwenye chafungo imo so kana tiza yapa muruma kuno na pasi nuko chako kumbu popota chete kumbu tu kango shamu muruma kutu kapan iso ya ya tiza yapa muruma. It's so you can afford to do the male principle, the female principle. Unu ish ano ano ura zamu noti chiku kuzai mbe tase. So ya vakos ya iko ko. Those wongo fungam zoro make. I must find a woman. I must find a man. I'm do ko ane so ya inda because of sin. So ju ju ka wanda ju no kondra so uti te descend into exile. Exile lo kumakumbo ko ane inda. So but the, that exile according to the primordial snake's analysis, the Zohar says. What to the man whose soul is descended down to his feet? Because the feet, uh, in a spiritual sense, in a spiritual interpretation, in spiritual meaning, is the domain of the most concentrated evil and impulse. Impulse, force of evil. Its realm is that of the primordial snake that caused Adam to sin. So, feet, makumo, doku, doku, mushakwe, jivi. That's why we see in some denominations, one of the cases of Kuvisa, 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 the concentrated evil impulse on the feet in Visa Bible. You, you, you remember, uh, even Jesus in the, I, I'm forgetting the verse, New Testament, you take a number of people, 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 you take a
So so that's the story about Jonah. So lift up the, the verses, lift me up. This is the soul now. Jonah got in this one. But from this uh, spiritual, uh, mystical understanding, lift me up is the soul. It could come, no, the board fuck out this one day because the soul younger, younger, it was now uh, at the feet. So the soul is now lift me up. The, the soul exits the body by the way of the throat. Now the person is dying. So the soul was lifted. So the soul came from the feet and exists the body through the throat. And that's the greatest desire of the Satan. And you then discover that when he was thrown into the sea, the, the well, that fish came and swallowed Jonah. The fish that swallowed Jonah. The fish in the grave for three days and three nights. So he spent three days and three nights. Mam Gua Manji. So I'm putika. And I put it up, you were sent, Jonah, you were sent by God to go to Nineveh. And you came on us, what ship the body, what in the city? No, we are dead now. So the Numbu put it up after three days. You stupid Jonah, you didn't do what we told you to do. Now, because when you when we fail to do what we are supposed to do, the divine assignment. We were given by God the, our purpose of two, two purpose of creation. The Satan is there to say, No, 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 go on, let's, let's go back to heaven. That's what happened. That's, that's why the story of Jonah is there. And Jesus said, Jonah, you are not going to be But he was trying to explain that when we fail, the Satan is there with his winds, with his gusty winds, with his violent winds to destroy us, our lives, and take us back to heaven. That's why So the violent wind came in Unakati. It's Jonah. It's Yona. Because Yona, you were sent by God to go to Tashi. Now you have decided to go to Nini. So come to Ramukanda for three days. But the, the Bible says, where does Numutra Mirikwen Kwek is on the shore? The shore now is now the land where you are back to heaven. And there the Torah says uh, in uh, in heaven. So after that fish, we fish food in England, 3,000, 365,000 eggs. And these 365,000 eggs are 365,000 demons. And the, the, that fish, so the, the fish will hand Jonah to another angel called Duma. Duma is the guy, angel, you need a man, you know, check it out. Hell means Duma. So Duma is called under Duma, the other demons are 365,000 demons under Duma. So what I'm saying is, when you know that you were said, it's, there's, there's no reason for people to ask you to do because they might need the bus. You know, you know, you start just that started from grade one. Where was your heart inclined? Where don't you be? So no one must stop you to do God's work. The reason why we are here is to do tikuni olam to heal the world. But first, focus on yourself. First, focus on the harmonization between the body and the soul. You will never know. Why you were created by God. You never know your purpose of creation when there is that disharmonization between your body and the soul. So the most important thing is to make sure that your body and the soul, your body and your soul are harmonized. When they are harmonized, it's called perfect matrimony. Can I have perfect matrimony? Then you know. How do you know? Because give your soul an opportunity to tell you what, what she was told by God from heaven. Give it an opportunity. The soul in us is a spark of the spirit of God. So that's the story of Jonah. Jonah got to Manashe and he agreed in, in summary. Manashe, Jonah went to Nineveh and he agreed. He came from heaven. He came from Jerusalem. He came from heaven and he picked a body. He, he, he was, he was boarded a ship. A ship in the body. He was a in the body. Because and God had to send the Satan and the demons, the, the stormy winds, the gusty, violent winds. What's, what's going in the wrong direction? 
Do you know that in this world, Madam Zuma, I agree because we, we come from Guazulu and Angozi. But I would like to think that when a person is taking the wrong direction. Not that when you are doing God's work. We, 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 we read here that Mepo wounds the Kawaya. Mepo wounds in the Simba the Kawaya. The Kata will educate the body. But John is taking the wrong direction. And, and, and the Bible says when when you know, Baka can do a Mumfura, Kokanyara, Kokanyara, Pisiro. Because I can't do a week of meds, I'm going to eat Komanji. Mepanyara. So sometimes you have to think what God. Sometimes when you want to, if I take the wrong direction, is it that I've taken a giant step in the wrong direction or a giant step in the right direction? So, guys, here you are. The story of Jonah is the story of reincarnation. The story of Jonah is very important. It teaches that go and do a survey, go and do an investigation. Go sit down with yourself. Go sit down with your soul. If you don't use yourself, people, other people will use you. If you don't use your time, some people will manipulate and use your time and use you. So, use your time. And this is your time. Pray to God. Ask yourself, is, is this a doctor? This really? So, uh, thank you so much for uh, coming to this lecture. And this is the end of our lecture. If you have questions, you know, subscribe to our, to our YouTube and uh, like it. You know, uh, and, 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 and reach and nourish your souls. Amen, amen, amen.